How's it going, everybody? Mike back at you with another edition of 5-Minute Gaming, and I am proud to say we have another special guest on the show, and that is actually a joke, because we really don't have a special guest. We have the other Watchmen here with us. There he is, in the flesh, Norb, yeah. the other half of this channel. <laughs> That's right. I've been busy on my Norbcam Football Seahawks channel, but I'm glad to be here doing a five-minute gaming show with you because it's great to be part of this. And we got a big image in between us of Gorf. And uh, Norb, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, Gorf is, is when it comes to arcade games, Gorf is you. Uh, it is. This is, a, this is one of my favorite games of all time. I remember discovering this game on vacation with my family. We were in uh, the Bahamas on a vacation and my parents were out in a, a casino playing card games. Of course, we're not allowed because we were only, you know, teenagers at the time, young teenagers. And so they usually give us 20 bucks and say, go entertain yourselves. And so they had an arcade out in the front of the uh, casino and lo and behold, they had this cool game called Gorf. And it was a cocktail game, so I remember we sat head to head and played this, and I just loved it because it, what it was really neat about Gorf is that it's a game that has five different stages. It's got the Space Invaders, the Laser Attack, and Galaxians, and the the uh, the, the Warp uh, battle, and then the flagship battle. So the fact that it changes every time, it was always a little bit different. So that's what I really loved about the game, and I just got hooked, and it's been one of my favorite games ever since. And I have a picture of that cocktail up there right now. Yeah, that's it. Show. That was. That was it. So that was really, so really, your memories were the cocktail version and not, not the stand-up version, which is, which is that. That's the stand-up. Yeah, version. I played that plenty afterwards, but the very first time was like cocktail version, and yep, I, I had to get used to it because instead of like the usual joystick and buttons like I'm going to be using here, it had the pistol. As you can see, there's the pistol uh, handle joystick with the trigger on it, and so and it's a little bit different because when you fire the trigger, you actually can push the trigger again and stop your bullet and reset which is nice if you need to rapid fire but can also be bad because you might pull your bullet too quick which i quickly learned the first time i played it i was cutting my bullets off so i've learned since the very beginning time i pulled this image off the internet They're, they also had what they called mini mites which were tinier versions of arcade games i think they were selling it to to operators that you could you could put them in small spaces but i always laugh at these old style 80s images of all these well-dressed people playing video games which is so not what it was like and and they've got the crest toothpaste and the listerine you know <laughs> yeah. imitating this ridiculously fake convenience store so i and i love the text video games have become a serious form of recreation that's serious we're not talking very fun. serious serious form but another, this is just another advertisement trying to get operators to put these games in their locations. <laughs> I don't know about the mini ones. I don't remember playing a mini Gorf, but I think for me it was always the cocktail and the full-size ones. Yeah. So I always got excited because they weren't always there, but it, when they showed up, I was like, oh, I'm going straight to that game. Well, let's play. I'm ready to see you show us and school us on how to win at Gorf. All right, and even though it's my favorite game, I'm certainly no pro. Some days it might be a great game, another it might be completely terrible. So that's what's kind of fun about it, is that it's not like a pattern game where you know you're always going to have a great game. It all depends on how the flow goes. So here we go. Whoa. Hey guys, if you guys want to watch the end of this video, you're going to have to hop over to our Watchmen channel to watch the end of this Gorf edition of 5 Minute Gaming with Mike. So make sure you do that right now. Click over there. Watch the end of this video, it's really exciting, and make sure when you're there, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and comment, all that good stuff. All right, so head over now, click it, click it, get over there, right now, Watchmen, go, go, go.